Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Ma Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang investment problems. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo yung another type of worded problems sa algebra which is investment problems. So, dito sa investment problems is gagamitin natin yung equation na P is equal to B times R. Where P is the percentage or it represents a part of whatever is being considered, B is the base or the whole of what is being considered, and R is the rate which is expressed as percent. So, naturo ko naman na sa inyo yung concept nito dun sa video ko about percentage, right? So, pwede rin tayong gumamit ng triangle mnemonic kung saan di-divide natin to into three sections. Yung taas is P and then yung dalawang baba is B tsaka R. It denotes na yung P is equal siya sa product nitong base tsaka rate. Tapos, yung B naman, it denotes na yung P, i-divide mo sa R para ma-solve siya. And then also, to solve for R, simply you divide P by P. Okay? So, gagamitin natin itong formula na to kasi usually sa investment problems is i-invest yung certain amount of money sa specific rate of interest annually. And then, pwedeng part of the money sa isang specific rate of interest and then the remaining part of the money sa another rate of interest. And then, bibigyan kayo ng total income doon sa inyong investment. And then, pwedeng tanongin dito is kung magkano yung in-invest at each rate. Okay? So, para may illustrate natin yung investment problems is mag-solve tayo ng examples. For the first problem, we have the faculty trust fund is 200,000 pesos. Some of the money is invested at an annual interest rate of 4% and the rest is invested at an annual rate of 6%. If the income from both investments is 9,600 pesos, how much is invested at each rate? Okay, so kapag meron tayong investment problems, maganda na gumawa tayo ng table. So, gumawa tayo ng column for base. Then, gumawa rin tayo ng column for rate. So, base times rate is equal to percentage. Okay, so column for base, column for rate, at column for percentage. And then, sa row, ilalagay natin yung dalawang different interest rate na given which is yung amount of money at 4% so money at 4% and then money at 6% sabi kasi sa problem yung faculty trust fund daw is merong 200,000 pesos at invest yung some part of this 200,000 pesos sa 4% annual interest rate at yung remaining is sa annual rate of 6%. Okay, so, therefore, yung pinaka-base natin dito is yung principal na pera na i-invest, which is yung 200,000 pesos. Kasahin natin nga. So, let's say, yung X natin be the amount of money at na-invest dito sa 4%. So, therefore, pwede natin i-represent dito sa money at 4% is X. And then, automatic, yung matitirang pera doon sa 200,000 minus natin itong X, ito na yung i-invest dito sa 6%. So, therefore, yung base natin for the money at 6% interest rate is 200,000 minus X. Right? Tapos, dito sa rate, sudat lang natin. So, diba 4% tayo dito sa money at 4%. So, 0 0.04 in decimal. Tapos, dito sa 6%, we have 0 0.06. Okay? And then, using the formula, masasolve natin yung percentage dito sa money at 4% as multiply lang natin. 0.04x and then itong money at 6%, we have 0 0.06 times 200,000 minus x. Okay? So, sabi naman doon sa last sentence is, if the income from both investments is 9,600 a year, how much is invested at each rate? So, therefore, yung total daw nung kinita doon sa investment is yung 
9,600. So, therefore, pag in natin itong dalawang percentage na to, dun sa money at 4%, tsaka money at 6%, equal dapat siya sa 9,600. So, therefore, ang equation natin is 0.04x plus 0.06 times 200,000 minus x equals 9,600 pesos. Okay? So, pwede na natin ma-solve yung x dito. So, dahil meron tayong 2 decimal places, multiply na lang natin both sides of the equation by 100 para ma-cancel yung decimal point. So, therefore, magiging ano na lang to. 100 times 0 0.04 is 4. So, 4x plus 0 0.06 times 100 is 6 times 200,000 minus x then equal to so, 100 times 9,600 is ilan na yan? 960,000. Okay? So, simplify natin. We have 4x plus, distribute si 6. 6 times 200,000 is 1,200,000. Then, 6 times negative x is minus 6x equals 960,000. So, 4x minus 6x is negative 2x. And then, transpose ko itong 1.2 million dito sa right. So, magiging 960,000 minus 1.2 million. So, we have negative 2x is equal to 960,000 minus 1.2 million is what? 240,000. Negative. Right? So, divide both sides by negative 2 to solve for x. We have x is equal to, so negative 240,000 divided by negative 2 is positive. 120,000. So, therefore, ito yung x natin, which is yung money invested at 4%. So, para masolve naman natin yung money invested at 6%, subtract natin yung 200,000 minus x, which yung nakuha natin na 120,000. So, 200,000 minus, minus 120,000 is 80,000. Okay, so, therefore, yung money invested at 4% is 120,000, and money invested at 6% is 80,000. Thousand. Okay? Next, we have Mr. Perez invested half of his money at 7% per year and half at 8% per year. His annual income from the two investments was 7,500 pesos. How much did he invest at each rate? Okay, si Mr. Perez daw is nag-invest ng kanyang money kalahate doon sa 7% per year at yung kalahate is 8% per year. Tapos, yung total investment niya raw is naka-income ng 7,500. So, magkana raw yung invest niya at each rate. So, ganun ulit. Gawa ulit tayo ng table. Base time is rate equals percentage. And then, yung pro is kung ano yung interest rate na involved. So, di ba meron tayong 7% at 8%. So, let's say money at 7% at money at 8%. So, ano yung magiging base natin dito sa money at 7%? So, wala namang binigay na total amount na pera kay Mr. Perez. Pero, sabi, half daw ng total amount na yon is sa 7%, tsaka half din doon sa 8%. So, therefore, kung half, dapat equal sila, right? So, let's say, anon variable na lang natin siya na x. So, dahil equal naman sila kasi half, therefore, sa 8%, x din yung base natin. Okay? And then, sa rate, Nung money at 7%, gawin natin decimal, so 0.07, and then yung rate, nung money sa 8% is 0.08. So, para sa percentage, nung money at 7%, multiply lang natin yung B sa ka rate, we have 0.07x, and then dito sa money at 8%, we have 0.08x. So, tulad dun sa kanina, yung total na to, yung total percentage na to, dapat i-add natin equal dito sa total income na 7,500. So, 0.07x plus 0.08x equal sa 7,500. So, multiply ulit natin both sides by 100. We have 7x plus 8x equals 7,500 times 100 is 750,000. So, 7x plus 8x is 15x. So, we have 15x is equal to 700,000. To solve for x, divide both sides by 15. We have x is equal to 750,000 divided by 15 is 50,000. Okay? So, therefore, yung money invested at 7% is 50,000. 
same as yung money invested at 8% is 50,000 pesos then. Okay? Next we have Noel invested a certain amount of money at 5% per year and an amount twice as large at 6% per year. The total annual income from the two investments was 4,250. Find the amount invested at each rate. Okay, so si Noel daw is nag-invest ng certain amount of money at 5%. Tapos twice daw nung in-invest niya sa 5% is in-invest niya rin sa 6% per year. Tapos yung total income daw sa two investment is 4,250 pesos. So, gawa ulit tayo ng table. So, yung involved nating interest rate is 5% tsaka 6%. So, gawa tayo ng row for money at 5% and then another row for money at 6%. So, ano yung magiging base natin dito sa money at 5%? So, tulad din sa to, wala naman binigay na total investment doon sa problem, doon sa pera ni Noel. Pero sabi, certain amount of money is invested at 5% and twice that amount is invested at 6%. So, let's say X na lang muna yung sa in-invest na money sa 5%. And then dahil twice daw doon sa 6%, yung base natin for 6% is 2X. Okay. And then, yung rate sa 5%, convert natin into decimal, we have 0.05. And then, sa 6%, we have 0.06. So, therefore, yung percentage sa money at 5% is multiply lang natin yung base sa rate. So, 0.05x. And then, dito sa money at 6%, yung percentage is 0.06 times 2x. Or ilan na to? 0.12x. 0.12x. Okay? And then, pag in daw natin itong dalawang percentage na to dapat equal siya sa 4,250. Okay? So, therefore, ang equation natin is 0.05x plus 0.12x equals 4,250. So, multiply natin both sets by 100. We have 5x plus 12x equals 4,250 times 100 is 425,000. So, 5x plus 12x is 17x equals 425,000. So, divide both sides by 17 to solve for x. We have x is equal to anning 425,000 divided by 17. 25,000. Okay? So, therefore, ito yung amount of money invested at 5%. So, 25,000 pesos. And therefore, yung money invested at 6% is twice nito. So, 2 times 25,000 or 50,000 pesos. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video investment problem. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.